December 26, 2020. In dreams, I was in a house, this was small. There was a man who was the head of the family, his wife, his two children, a young woman and a teenager. I saw their activities inside the house and noticed their restlessness, their anxiety, and their despair. The mother oriented the daughter, the adolescent, silently, observed. The man, also silent, meditated on everything that happened there. I went to the head of the family and told him, remember, it is never a safe path to go against God. This is not a war between mortals, but between heavenly angels and demons, don't forget it. He looked at me, his face paled and he went still. He understood my words. And he understood what had happened. But sentimentality dominated him, blinding and decreasing, in his mind, the voice of the Holy Spirit. At first he wept bitterly, then he wrinkled his forehead and turned his back on me, his self had won. I was dictated to pray for him and get out of the place, as that was all there was to do. There I woke up and was dictated to me, Romans 2. Oh, beloved brothers! How sad! God grant that each one of us can recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit. That we can let ourselves be impacted by Him, so that, like this, we can reach the conviction of what we have to fix before God, so that, like this, we can go for His forgiveness. And we can make amends and we can start again, safe, in the path of the eternal. It is my plea and prayer that it be so in the life of each one of us. May the Lord bless us.